Hello everyone, I Dr. Pankaj Vishwas am going to offer a course on fundamentals of thermomechanical and fatigue analysis of welded structure. Under the MOOCs program of MSRD, as the name implies in this course I have covered the fundamental overview of design of welded structure, details of tangent thermal analysis for thermal history prediction. I have also covered the thermomechanical analysis for residual stresses and distortion prediction. And finally, I have delivered different types of lecture on detail of fatigue analysis of welded structure. This course will help the participant to understand and apply this knowledge of welding in practice for various research and industrial application. It will also encourage academic participants to increase the research interest in the field of welding. At the end of this course, you will gain the detailed concept about the computational weld mechanics by which you will be able or you can say you will be capable to do the numerical and analytical thermal analysis, structural analysis as well as fatigue analysis of any types of welded structure. Now, all of we are very well familiar about welding process. So, welding is such a important topics in which you will get the test of most of the science and engineering subjects. So, knowledge of almost all science subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics and engineering subjects like solid mechanics, thermal science, fluid mechanics, engineering design etcetera are highly essential to understand the concept of welding technology. So, it is observed that in manufacturing industry over 35 percent expenditure is spent on welding. So, welding has significant application in various manufacturing sector like what it is called aerospace, automobile, shipbuilding and railway industry. So, welding related to the above topics that is thermal, mechanical and fatigue analysis should be well understood to, to a welding expert. So, the brief overview of the content of this course can be uh, stated like uh, the course is broadly divided into three most important topics that is the uh, fundamental of thermal analysis topic, the second topic is fundamental of thermomechanical analysis and design of uh, welded joint and finally, the third topics uh, include the detailed concept of fatigue analysis especially for welded structure. So, in the first topics I have covered the uh, what it is called fundamental of welding thermal analysis. The content of this lecture about these topics are uh, here I covered the basics of three dimensional tangent heat transfer analysis. Then I covered effect of operating parameters on thermal analysis. Then how to calculate the peak temperature that also I have presented in these topics. In the thermal analysis of welding topics, I have also covered the uh, following highly important uh, areas which are highly essential for computational weld mechanics for prediction of thermal history, then uh, prediction of weld induced residual stress and distortion. So, uh, the details about uh, this computational weld mechanics also I have uh, presented in this course. The uh, content of the lectures are concept of different types of numerical method used in what it is called welding analysis, what is the governing equation uh, of thermal analysis that related things in details I have discussed here. Now, what types of boundary condition of thermal analysis generally apply do, do, to do the thermal analysis that related things also I discuss in this course. Then I have also discussed uh, about different other important topics like what are the different stages of welding process. Then I have also discussed about fixed heat sources in welding, then uh, moving uh, point heat sources in welding then two dimensional and three dimensional heat flow analysis of welding. Then I have also covered cooling rate and how to calculate uh, peak temperature that related things also discuss in this course in details. In addition of the above contents uh, of thermal analysis related topics, 
I have also le uh, provide lectures on different types of welding heat source models and their derivation and importance. In this part, the content are derivation of Goldrack uh, double ellipsoidal heat source model. Then I have also covered the derivation of sen semi ellipsoidal heat source model. I have also discussed about detailed derivation of Gaussian distribution of heat source model then uh, derivation of Avogadro shape uh, heat source model and finally, I have discussed in details about how to estimate the experimental parameters which are used for Goldack double ellipsoidal heat source model and finally, I have discussed some other uh, very important heat source model uh, details which have a high application in high energy density welding process like what is called laser welding process, electron beam welding process, uh, this related things also I have discussed in this course. Furthermore, in this uh, thermal analysis topics, I have also covered common heat treatment process which have a highly and widely application in the field of welding. The content of heat treatment process are preheating process, then calculation of the heat temperature, then I have covered interface temperature calculation details. Then I have also discussed about uh, different types of common heat treatment process like annealing, normalizing, tempering, in, tempering and aging. In addition of this, I have also covered post weld heat treatment process in details. In the content of post weld heat treatment topics, I have covered the detail of post heating and stress relief techniques. In, the, in this course, the second topic uh, contains the details of fundamental concept of design and analysis of welding joints. So, in this topic, initially I have covered basics of welding design. In this basics of welding design, the contents of the lecture are principle of sound welding design. Then I have discussed about how to do a joint design. Then how to calculate what it is called allowable stress. Then I have also covered welded joints subjected to different types of loading condition. Like I have uh, discussed here the welded joints subjected to torsional moment, then uh, bending moment. Then I have also discussed about what is called welded joints subjected to different types of combined loading. Then I have also discussed how to find out the strength of a weld joint. Then I have covered here the shear flow in a uh, flat weld. Based on this shear flow, I have found out how to find out the resultant shear flow and based on this shear flow related topics, I have solved different problems uh, related to shear flow and combined re uh, loading uh, related uh, problems uh, in welded structure. So, in the last topics of this course, I have covered most of the topics related to fatigue analysis of welded structure which are highly important for design and life prediction of welded structure. In this fatigue analysis topic, I have started from the very simple basics of fatigue analysis and I have ended with highly advanced details of fatigue analysis of welded structure. Initially, uh, here I have started with the uh, very basics of fatigue life prediction. In this part, the contents of the lecture are estimation of endurance limit by approximate method. Then I covered deterministic stress life approach and I solved problem on this deterministic step life based approach. Then I covered some very important topics related to welding that is NOS sensitivity factor. Then uh, you can say uh, some other important uh, notes which are highly essential for fatigue analysis which includes the effect of welding on fatigue life, then fatigue of a uh, typical joint and I have solved problem on welded joints subjected to fluctuating types of loading. Then I have covered fatigue analysis, then design and life estimation procedure. In this uh, topic, the content of the lectures are structural fatigue analysis method, uh, then uh, fatigue design method I covered, then I covered uh, fatigue life assessment method. Uh, here I have also presented different types of probabilistic method for fatigue life calculation. And finally, I have discussed uh, some example of fatigue life design method. In fatigue life analysis topic, I have also covered the details about fatigue load spectrum 
In this topics, here I have discussed in details about rain flow counting method. Uh, here uh, in rain flow counting method, I have covered first uh, two different method that is first method of rain flow counting and second method of rain flow counting. Then I have also discussed about cumulative fatigue damage and palm grain uh, minors rule in details. Then I have solved different problems um, on palm grain minors rule. Furthermore, I have also delivered lecture on characterizing uh, fluctuating stresses. Uh, in this topics, I have covered uh, fatigue failure criteria for fluctuating stress. Then I have also discussed about the modified Goodman diagram. Then I have solved different problems on modified Goodman diagram. Uh, then I have also uh, discussed about modified Goodman diagram for fluctuating torsional types of shear stress, stresses in details. And finally, I solved what it is called problem on modified Goodman diagram for torsional shear stress case. Subsequently, I discuss in this fatigue uh, analysis topic the Busquin and uh, Coffin law of fatigue. Here I have also discussed about mean stress correction in fatigue and I have also solved problems on Busquin and Coffin's law of fatigue. In addition of the above fatigue related topics, I have also thoroughly discussed about fundamentals of uh, linear elastic fracture me mechanics approach that is LEFM which is widely used uh, you can say for residual fatigue life prediction of welded structure. Here I have covered the details about Parrish Erdogan's law and I have solved problem on uh, this Parrish law. In the last topic of fatigue analysis in this course, I have covered global and local fatigue analysis related topics that is widely used in welded structure. This global and local fatigue analysis topic contain the very important uh, types of uh, approach for fatigue life estimation of welded structure that is uh, nominal stress method, hot exposed stress method and effective NOS stress method. So, this uh, related topics I have discussed in this course in detail. And finally, I have solved different uh, types of problems uh, on this uh, uh, three different topics that is nominal stress method, hot spot method and effective NOS method. So, this are all about this course content. So, I hope if you will do this course, you will have a overall idea about the detailed concept of thermal analysis, then uh, design of welded structure. And finally, we will get the detailed concept of fatigue analysis related things which have wide application in the field of welded structure. Thank you.